Hi, my name is Paul. You're watching That's PS. In this episode, in the spirit of my Hobbit-like hair, I'm going to show you how to make Sting from The Hobbit. You'll need the following. Foam board, the pattern printed on sticker paper, scissors and an X-Acto knife, good quality masking tape, a marker, a hot glue gun, a meter stick, silver, brown, and black spray paint, painter's tape and crazy glue. Cut out the first two pages of the pattern. Take the sticker back off and lay them out as shown here. Then, cut them out with an X-Acto knife. Use these pieces to trace the total number for each piece indicated on the pattern. The only one that won't need to be traced at least once is the handle piece with the long skinny bit. Use the meter stick to cut almost, but not quite, the entire way through the center of each blade piece. If you accidentally cut all the way through, that's okay. It will still work. It's just a bit more difficult to put the blade together. Take the stickers off. Tack the two blades together so the middles are slightly bent, and then slide the handle piece in between them. Put a couple more pieces of tape on the blade so it's snug against the handle piece, but not so snug that it can't still move. Put one of the side handle pieces on so that it lines up with the center handle piece, and use this as a guide to make sure the blade is in the correct position. Hot glue the side pieces on either side of the center handle piece. Hot glue the triangle piece in the gap between the blade and the handle pieces. It's okay if it's not a perfect fit. Hot glue the hilt on one side as shown. Then glue the six spacer pieces on, three on each side. And finally, glue the second hilt piece on. Trim off the ends of the hilt with the X-Acto knife if they don't quite line up right. Tape the whole blade, try to get it as smooth as possible, and make sure there are no areas of the foam visible. Cut one strip of masking tape as long as the blade, and line it up right down the middle. Cut along the shape of the blade about a quarter inch away, then fold it over the edge. Repeat this for the other half, and then twice more for the other side. This helps make sure that the blade part looks nice and smooth. Time to work outside for a bit. Using something underneath to catch the overspray, paint the whole side black. Once it's dry, flip it over and do the other side. I taped both the hilt and the handle at this stage, but since both the blade and the hilt are silver, you only need to cover the handle with painter's tape at this stage. Spray paint one side silver, and then once it's dry, paint the other side silver. Take the painter's tape off the handle, and put a new layer of painter's tape on the hilt and blade. Spray paint the handle brown. I forgot to film that part, but I'm sure you'll figure it out. Once everything is dry, and you've removed all the painter's tape, it's time to put the decals on. Cut out the decals with an X-Acto knife. Try not to leave any white bits on the outside, or they'll really stand out. Once they're cut out, take the back off the stickers and attach the curly pieces to the blade on either side, and attach the hilt pieces to the hilt on either side. I also found that the sticker paper had a really hard time sticking to the spray paint, so I used some crazy glue to make sure it was attached. And that's it. Enjoy your new blade. And of course, if you'd like to make your very own sting, I've made the pattern available on my website. Link is in the doobly-doo. And as always, if you liked it, make sure to like it. If you want to see what I work on next, click that subscribe button. And your comments and questions, always appreciated, down below. And I'll catch you later. Hi, mine. I'm going to show you how to make hot. In this episode, Link is in the, in the spirit of my hobbit hair. Shut up!